Bug Radio. It's the bomb. And we're live! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first edition of Doodlebug Radio, the only place to tune in for epic post apocalyptic banter. It's a bright, warm, and highly atomic day today in the year 2215. Who the hell remembers the month we're on anyway? And I'm your dazzling and handsome host, DJ, coming at you live from the Dead Zone, formerly known as the United Kingdom. We've got a belter of a show lined up today for all you Wasteland survivors out there, including a one-on-one interview with the psychopathic mutant zombie turned human philanthropist adventurer, Mog the Mighty. But first, the news. Looks like those poor people of East Peckham are at the mercy of those pesky mutated potato people again. For weeks, the Burberry-toting locals have been besieged in their own homes by seemingly endless hordes of sharp teeth and angry Maris Pipers. Not to worry though, luckily some members of the new Society of Honourable Vegans were there just in time to deal with the starchy brigands and chase them off with some rusty golf clubs. Here's what the locals had to say on the matter. One moment I'm minding my own blooming business, doing my crossword puzzles, and the next thing I know a great big bleeding potato looking fella comes up out of the bushes and chases me all the way up the bleeding road. If it weren't for that vegan lark coming over and giving it a good old kicking, Christ knows what I would have done. Those potato buggers should stay in the bloody chip pan where they belong. Well, there's some wise words coming from the East Peckham folk there. However, since that recording, the whole town has been devastated with a bad case of the Farage virus, a disease not seen in the wasteland for many years, and have all perished. (coughs) Rumour has it that a group of bandits have discovered the very last remaining box of frazzles in the entire country, and are holed up in the burnt-out ruins of the old Poundland branch of central Dagenham. Many have tried to recover these, but all have failed. Well, brave listener, why not try your luck? Surely it'll be worth the prospect of being robbed and brutally murdered just for the chance to get your hands on the last ever pack of those much beloved bacony treats. Now for some adverts from our sponsors. Come dine at Gutbusters, where we serve the best food in the land. Don't listen to the naysayers about our questionable sources of meat. Who needs cows when you have a perfectly acceptable supply of giant mutated rats available right at your doorstep? If you're watching your figure, come try our antique packaged goods range. Our scavengers collect only the finest in Old World Mills, just for you. Try our popular range of desiccated potato products, or for a special treat, delight yourself with our wide selection of pot noodles, as nourishing as the day they were made. Mmm, those Old Welders really knew how to eat. All our food is guaranteed parasite-free due to the high radioactive content. It's bad for the environment, but questionably sort of alright for you, Gutbusters. 200 years and our food still tastes the same. (coughs) Doodlebug Radio, exploding in your ears. Now we have a special guest for you listeners, one whose story will melt all of our hearts, I'm sure. Today we have mutant scavenger turned wasteland philanthropist Mog the Mighty. Welcome to the show, Mog. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I completely understand what you're saying. <clears throat> uh, so tell us your story, then, Mog. What made you give up your old life of murder and robbery to become a reborn friend to humanity? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Mog, I didn't quite get that last part. Do you mind going over it again for me? <clears throat> In English, perhaps? <laughs> For goodness sake, man, I can't understand a bloody word you're saying. You come on this show knowing fully well you're on the best damn radio show in the country and you can't even be bothered to learn English. No, no, Mog. No, no, put put the chainsaw down, Mog. Put the chainsaw down. That's it. That's a good Mog. Good Mog. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> That's it for this week, my fellow survivors of the British wasteland. Take care out there in the dead zone, as from mutated foreign language speaking goats to eight legged poison spewing Elvis impersonators, there's just no knowing what you'll encounter. Join us next time for another edition of Doodlebug Radio. It's